Like you know, growing up, uh, the game was my passion, but at some point I really hated it. I found it disgusting to be part of the Bundesliga and all that, and how terrible is that, right? It's such a dream job, I guess, and I just I hated it. And I'm actually very glad now that I, I rediscovered my, my love and passion for the game. In your position now, what advice would you have given to yourself back then when you were going through such a dark period? Um, listen to the old guys. Because when you're young, you, you think you know it all. And I had many good people around me, like in hindsight, now I can say that, that, uh, that warned me. Like the, there's always journalists around that you can't trust. They were like, yeah, be careful around this guy. I don't believe everything he writes and uh, don't become buddies with him. He's not your buddy. But then um, you, you start quite well. You're like an up and coming star and he gives you just uh, raving reviews about your game and, and all that. And you actually, I don't know what, why are all these guys saying things about him like that. He's such a genuine, nice guy. And you, you really work with him closely. And then comes a time where you struggle a bit and you might do something wrong off the park and uh, that, that's a big story for the newspaper and he starts hammering you and you don't quite understand and you're like, what the heck's going on? And then you get to experience uh, the flip side and yeah, in hindsight now, I know that um, I should have listened to, to the old guys because they always used to say, you know what, good or bad, don't buy into what, they, what they're saying, listen to us. We know a lot about the game, we, we've been around for too long, we've seen many um, succeed, we've seen many fail. Just um, listen and learn. But back then I was a bit too arrogant, I was very cocky and I was like, no, no, I don't need your advice. I'm a way better player than you already, so I'm going to take over. But it was never about taking over. If I had listened, I would have lasted, I guess. I'm very happy now and that's what it's all about, but um, I would lie to you if I said that uh, um, it's better in a way not to have been successful. That's not true. I mean, if I could have uh, made, a, I don't know, a fortune there and uh, played for the German national team, whatever, that's not a bad thing. And obviously, uh, um, people aspire to it. So it'd be bullshitting people to say, oh, I'm all happy with, with the way it turned out. Um, it's, it's, um, it's sad that I kind of wasted my talent, but at the same time, it's not over yet. So um, I guess uh, I learned a, a lesson or two from it, and uh, I'm still playing, and um, I'm enjoying myself again, and uh, I hope that I, I develop as a person as well. So like they say, um, quite often in life, it's the bad experience that really shape you.